Hi, Tootsie Carlson here, and any day is a good day for the Rocky franchise. We finally arrived at the fourth and final of the Best Buy exclusive steelbooks of the franchise, that being, of course, Rocky IV from 1985. Rocky V and Rocky Balboa have yet to debut in 4K, but I'll certainly be covering those when the time comes. I'm going to unbox this release, share my opinions, and let you know if I recommend this release or not. Nice close-up of Rocky with the American flag there, surrounded by... Duke and Polly in the ring. Presumably this is after the final fight of the movie. Top of the backing card. There's the spine. Back of the backing card. Here's the back cover of the steelbook. Rocky giving Drago a nice punch there. Inside we have our digital code. Here we have our 4K disc of the film, which has both... Rocky IV, the theatrical version, and the Rocky vs. Drago director's cut. Down here we have our Blu-ray, and unfortunately, one of the biggest disappointments of this release, this is just a rehash of the older Blu-ray of Rocky IV. That means you do not get the Rocky vs. Drago cut on Blu-ray, nor do you get the making of featurette that was included in the box set on the bonus Blu-ray. Nice background here with Rocky, Drago, and the referee. I believe the guy in the background is uh, Ivan Drago's trainer. That looks very nice. And I will read the description of the film as follows from the backing card. Drago pushes Rocky to his limit. Rocky Balboa holds the World Heavyweight Boxing Championship but faces a new challenger, Drago, a six foot four, 261-pound fighter who has the backing of the Soviet Union. Rocky prepares for a powerfully charged fight which he must defend not only himself, but the honor of his country. Also included is Rocky IV, Rocky vs. Drago. Stallone masterfully reshapes Rocky IV in this ultimate director's cut. Again, though, I repeat that you don't get the director's cut version on Blu-ray, only on the 4K disc. Rocky IV. What can be said about Rocky IV that hasn't already been said? This is certainly the campiest, most 80s, most over-the-top movie in the series. It's probably my least favorite overall, and yet despite that, I still have a soft spot for it. Ivan Drago was a nice addition to the series because he was a totally different villain from what we'd gotten for Rocky in the previous movies. I mean, we had the flamboyant and charismatic Apollo Creed in the first two movies, and then we had the brutal, thuggish Clipper Lang in Rocky III. Here we get this silent Iron Man of Russia who's just completely brutal. When we see him fight for the first time, there are tragic results, which are certainly felt. Rocky IV, of course, is pretty montage heavy with plenty of montages set to 80s music and, again, doesn't really work a whole lot to the movie's benefit. That said, though, the performances from the cast and crew are still very good. Sylvester Stallone does a good job playing Rocky, having to deal with the grief of losing a friend at the hands of Ivan Drago's brutal punches, but then we still get performances from the likes of Talia Shire's Adrian, who's the ever-supporting wife, and Polly, Rocky's brother-in-law, who, again, largely serves as the comic relief, but does a great job of it, as he always does. I do have to say, I think that the director's cut of the movie, even though there's a few things I don't really like, including changing the aspect ratio and, you know, adding certain elements and removing others. Overall, it is a little more serious and I think does remove some, but certainly not all of the 80s camp elements of the movie. I mean, you can't help but love Rocky IV for what it is. It's certainly memorable for what it is. Ivan Drago doesn't get too many lines, but the few that he does get, they're quoted in popular culture all the time. I mean, who amongst us hasn't said, I must break you at one point or another? Picture quality on this disc is actually very good. The transfers between the two cuts are very different. Of course, the uh, theatrical cut is a nice improvement over the Blu-ray version because we get the more vibrant colors. So when you start seeing all those you know, reds, whites, and blues, they look better than ever. Get that little extra punch. The Dolby Vision really works wonders for this one. The uh, director's cut, Rocky vs. Drago, is in a wider aspect ratio, and it has a slightly more bluish color palette. It's a little more well-detailed and maybe a little sharper, if you ask me. I have read some things online that supposedly there's one brief shot in the theatrical version where the aspect ratio briefly changes, like the 1.85 matting 
briefly disappears, but I think it's one of those things you'd pretty much have to be an eagle-eyed viewer to spot. Again, just the same. I probably would hold out for a box set of all the movies just so you can hopefully get these after some of the kinks have been worked out. It's pretty clear a lot of these were rushed out in time for the theatrical release of Creed 3. Again, no bonus features in here unless you count having two cuts as a bonus feature. It's disappointing not to see the Rocky vs. Drago cut on the Blu-ray and also that we don't get the making of featurette that's in the Blu-ray that's in the box set. So overall, I think it's a great looking package, but I'm disappointed not to get the Rocky vs. Drago cut on Blu-ray, the documentary on here either, and then a few minor defects like I just mentioned. So I'm going to say hold out for a set of all six Rocky movies that hopefully clears up a lot of these mistakes. Are you a fan of Rocky IV? Did you pick up this 4K disc yet? What do you think? Do you think the director's cut's the best version of the movie? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more content because I'm always posting new videos. And be sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. I'll see you next time.